Hello and welcome back to The Note. And it's been another rather miserable day on world stock markets, both in Europe and the US, more or less all Friday's gains that came after the Bank of Japan told us it was moving to negative interest rates have now been cancelled out. Japan has lost some of its gains since then. If you also take a look at the oil price, it's fallen once more, but perhaps most concerning is what's going on in the bond market. If you take a look at the 10-year uh, Treasury yield, you can see that it's dropped very sharply today. It's below 1.9%. Okay, it has been lower than that at various times over the last few years, but it's really quite remarkable that we are seeing a 10-year yield that low, given that the Fed has now actually started raising rates and told us that it's going to keep doing so. The uh, people plainly are buying the 10-year uh, Treasury and forcing its yield down because there are negative yields elsewhere, but it's still a startling development. If we now take a look at the bond market from another perspective and take a look at the yield curve, in other words, uh, the gap between the uh, yield on the 10-year and the yield on the two-year uh, Treasury uh, often seems very complicated, but the basic intuition is that the wider that gap is, the greater the optimism will is into the future, the greater the belief is that you'll see growth and inflation and higher rates into the future. Therefore, when you see a narrowing, as we've seen now, we've got the flattest yield curve since the crisis year of 2008, that's a very negative sign. It suggests that people are getting much more concerned about the risk of a recession here in the US, even if at least for the time being, uh, the, the uh, yields on the two and the 10 year treasury haven't inverted in what is a very classic recession indicator. Now, this is a big development. Only a month ago, it was taken almost as axiomatic that whatever else happened in the rest of the world, the US would keep growing. We've now seen a lot of research reports in the last few days from various brokerages looking at what recession risk might look like here in the US. They all come down on the notion, I think correctly, that the US isn't in recession yet, but the, the uh, risks of it are rising. You can see that in uh, the very concerning ISM manufacturing data, which is still very mediocre. You can also see that in the Fed's senior loan officer survey, which came out this week, and which showed that standards of loans to companies are tightening. If this proves merely to be a growth scare. If, as still seems likely, uh, we can avert uh, a recession, then presumably there should be value from the kind of levels we are at now. If not, there is further for the stock market to fall. Ever greater interest, therefore, on the uh, non-farm payroll data that we'll be getting at the end of this week.